So yeah, yeah, yeah. The last video was mostly clickbait and speculation by me. We got straight hard facts this time. It's going to be a short video, but I'm going to give you some facts straight from the producer and one of the stars of Halloween Ends. What are we waiting for? Let's go! So what is that news that Mikey and I have been talking about today? If you've been watching Twitter and at all and you keep up about Halloween Ends news, you know that Jason Blum earlier today posted a tweet that said hashtag Halloween Ends. And everybody was like, oh God, it must be something related to the movie or the trailer. And then later in the day, what did Jamie Lee Curtis post? She posted a pumpkin with 720 on it. 720 is next Wednesday, right? I think the trailer for Halloween Ends is going to drop. And so one of the other things that I found online while I was looking was the Canada certified the trailer. And I actually found a photo that I'll throw up here. And it says that the um, distributor is Universal Films Canada. And the time is 1 minute 16 seconds. I think this first trailer is only going to be 1 minute and 16 seconds. I think it's probably only going to be that horror, um, the Comic-Con uh, footage that they showed it's already been seen by some but we haven't seen it so it'll be good to put some visuals to halloween ends and finally get a trailer out there but i think we're going to be disappointed in this first one so hopefully maybe a month from now we'll get a full-blown trailer and not just the teaser trailer which is what i think it's going to be so what other news could there be there's not a lot of straight hard facts other than what i just told you but i will say that I was reading around on Reddit and there was two things that I wanted to mention to you guys. The first one that somebody supposedly was showing a, a post that had a page from the script and it says it had Lori beheading Michael only to learn that the real Michael Myers died in the bus accident in Halloween 2018 and that it's been some psycho going around pretending to be Michael the entire time. That would piss a lot of people off. Well, they said a lot of people might not be um, happy with uh, the results of Halloween ends, that sure would piss a lot of people off. I don't think they're gonna do that though, because I think that that's too close to the end of um, Halloween H2O where the guy gets his head chopped off and ultimately it turns out to not be Michael Myers. Another theory I saw a lot of people saying is that during the uh, casting, they were looking for somebody that could operate a bulldozer. I think that may link up to one of the theories where people were saying that when they submitted the script for John Carpenter to look, look at it, that uh, David Gordon Green said that it had a little Christine feel. If you remember, one of the things they did to Christine was Arnie, the only way they could sever the connection between him and the car was to basically destroy the car with a bulldozer. Mikey here has got a connection to the house. What might they do to the house? They could bulldoze it and then Michael's connection is cut. Or at least maybe it will make him feel like he's got nothing else to accomplish. I don't know. That sounds like a good theory. The last one is going to be something that I read online here where they said that there's a rumor that Glass Hill is mentioned in the story and that it's a main set piece. I personally do think that the footage from that trailer is going to be how Halloween ends opens. Lori's going to leave the hospital. And you remember Hawkins is still laying there with his leg run over and basically in pieces. So there's no way he could help. I think between Lori and Allison, they're going to go to the house. They're going to confront Michael. There's going to be a fight. Lori, I don't think, is going to get hurt. I think she's going to hurt Michael. He's going to get captured again. I think he's going to end up in Glass Hill. I think he's going to be there for the four years they're talking about. You're going to then go back to Haddonfield four years from there and maybe Lori and or maybe secretly uh, Allison could be going to visit Michael. Another rumor was that Michael's parents may show up in this film or at least one of them. What happens if Allison gets a connection with one with his one of his living relatives? Maybe the only one it could be is his father or his mother and they go visit Michael over this time and Lori finds out about it, gets pissed, ends up going to see Michael herself. He ends up escaping and a lot of the film takes place there where Michael is in prison. That would be kind of cool, right? And instead of him chasing Lori in the hospital like in the original Halloween 2, she could be chasing him where he's in prison. I think that would be kind of cool. What do you think? 
Give me some theories. Put some comments down below. I want to know what you guys think is going to happen in Halloween ends. And um, I'm not going to ramble on this video. This was a really short one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all the normal YouTube stuff. Don't piss off Michael. Hit the notification bell and you'll know when I post new videos. So until next time, boys and girls, this is Jedman316, your pop culture reporter, signing out saying you guys be safe out there.